Today's the 19th of March 2009 and we are sitting in the school archives in the Old Brothers Monastery. We have a special guest today, one of our students who graduated in 1996, Six, Mark Kure. Welcome Mark. Thank you Mr Brotherson. Okay, uh, Mark, tell us about your sort of early life before the Cogra Maras years. Well, my brother and I, my brothers and I were born and, uh, and bred in Hurstville Grove. Uh, we went to St Joseph's at Oakley and uh, we then went to Penzhurst Marist from year 7 to year 10. And after year 10 we went to Cogra Marist, all three of us. Uh, there, uh, uh, myself uh, graduated in 1996, my two younger brothers Paul who graduated in 1999 and John who graduated in 2002. Um, okay, those times. You were a cogger for two years. Kevin Green was saying just the other day he was a cogger for two years, uh, a good 20 years earlier, and he said sometimes they, the Penzers guys felt a little bit like tourists. They were only in here for a short time. Yeah, that, that was the impression we got. That, that was the feel we got. Um, but, you know, we tried to, to mix with the other boys. You know, we had people from, obviously, Year 10 Cogger Morris moving on. We also had people from De La Salle Kingsgrove uh, as, as the other feeder school for Cogger Morris. But we did our best to, to blend in, we did our best to, to mix and min mingle with other people and uh, I think uh, we can confidently say we, we thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a, certainly a good final two years at, uh, of high school. Good. Um, any teachers, students <coughs> sort of stand out from those days? Well, other than yourself of course. Of course, of course. <laughs> that's a given. Um, people like um, obviously the late uh, Mr. Jordan, Brian Jordan, yes. uh, being our year, year 11 coordinator. He was a coordinator in those years. Yeah, right. he was and yeah. did a great job in, uh, in sort of melting all of us together uh, from the three different schools. Um, and uh, of course then there was, um, uh, I think it was Mrs. Kelly in year 12, who was our year 12 coordinator. And of course um, Mr. McNamara, who was the school principal at the time. Peter McMahon, yes. Peter McMahon, yes. yeah, who did a great job and was a great principal. And we also had some familiar faces that moved on. We, um, we had uh, a move through with us. Uh, that was Brother Tony, who was originally at Penzhurst Marist and then took up um, some part-time role at Cogra Marist. That's right. He's writing his school. He's just finished the school history, which will be sort of published in May. Yeah. And, uh, and, and obviously other teachers, uh, Mr Hetherington, for example, uh, Mr. Doherty, who was our legal studies teacher. That's right. Yeah, Peter Doherty. Yeah. And uh, and it's probably about it. Right. Oh, and of course our careers advisor, who was Mrs. Radminsky. That's right. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's right, Mrs. Radminsky. Some names from the past. Um, any events as a student that sort of stand out? Well, I think uh, I think graduating was uh, 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 something we'll never forget. Um, not only just the graduation ceremony, but uh, the church service and. Obviously, the, the dinner afterwards, uh, it was certainly a, something we'll never forget. Um, school camp was certainly something that we'll never forget. It was a great uh, school camp um, in, uh, in, in Barrow, I think, Mittagon. Mm, that's um, right, yeah. Let's we'll go down there today. Yeah, and, uh, and of course, um, I suppose one thing we'll never forget is actually entering Year 11. Um, a brand new school, um, a much larger school than Penzos Maris with uh, hundreds more kids. And uh, obviously that uh, was, was certainly a, a big thing and something we won't forget, uh, particularly coming from a small school like Penzers Marist. Sure. Okay. You graduate from Cogra Marist and what's happened since? Uh, well, I went to university and did an arts law degree and uh, then worked for Joe Hockey, who's uh, uh, formerly the Minister for Small Business and, and Tourism and uh, now Shadow Treasurer in, uh, in the Federal Parliament. I worked for him for four and a half years, five years. And uh, since then, I, I left in 2006, and, uh, and since then, I, I've got my own business uh, in finance, and uh, I was elected to Cogra Council as an alderman in 2002. Oh, I've been there ever since. That's seven years then. Mm. Yeah, time has got by. Mm. And how have you found that? Uh, council? Yeah, council? Yeah, good. No, very good. Yeah, yeah. I was elected, uh, re-elected again last year, and... Uh, and, uh, and my, my area covers uh, uh, Hurstville Grove and Oakley and Penzos Morto. Like the West Ward, isn't it? West, uh, doing many good things there. Um, uh, roads and, and footpaths and obviously limiting the, the amount of overdevelopment that's occurring. Across the, yeah, the area? Across the area, yeah. Well, thank you, Mark. Thank you for giving up your, your time. You know, I know you've got a busy schedule. You've got another meeting tonight or another interview tonight. Mm -hmm. And again, the school thanks you. And 
this will be part of our sort of archives, uh, mm -hmm. this interview. And uh, again, thanks a lot for coming today. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, I think um, one of the most memorable events would have been school camp in year 11. And uh, we went to uh, Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, which is a, an old boarding school in Barrow or Middagon. And I remember one night uh, a group of us put a, a statue of, uh, it was either a statue of Jesus or, a, or Our Lady, in the bed, uh, in the room, in the bed where Mr. Jordan uh, was going to stay. And we pulled the covers over the statue. And uh, at one or two o'clock in the morning, I hear this uh, yelling carrying on and uh, it was clearly Mr. Jordan who realised uh, that the statue of Our Lady was uh, in the same bed. But uh, uh, a few of us got in trouble that day, but uh, other than that, uh, it was I a think, good camp. I think rightly so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but other than that, it was a great camp, a great yeah. experience. The other, um, the other great story from the um, early retreats was the, the boys that, that took the tractor. And the farmer's tractor was it down yeah. the end. And so I think it would have been the year group before you. Before you. Mm -hmm. And the defence was he should, the, the farmer shouldn't have left his keys in the tractor. <laughs> <laughs> that's a real cocker answer, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't our fault. But he left his keys in the tractor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, what he expected to. <laughs> Again, thanks a lot, Mark. Thanks, Mike. Really appreciate it. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Okay, now what we